The Community Inspiration Awards ceremony took place on Friday 20th September 2024 in Birmingham. The event was hosted by Nazmul Hossein, Chief Executive of the Community Foundation, with awards presented by notable figures including Lord Lieutenant Dr Derek Anderson from the West Midlands Lieutenancy, Siobhan Blake, Chief Crown Prosecutor at the Crown Prosecution Service, Paulette Hamilton, MP for Birmingham, Erdington, Simon Foster, West Midlands Police and Crime Commissioner, Chris Payne, Assistant Chief Executive of West Midlands Fire Service, Richard Kirby, Chief Executive of Birmingham Community Healthcare NHS Foundation Trust, Mike O'Hara, Assistant Chief Constable of West Midlands Police, Shukat Lal, Chief Executive of Sandwell City Council, and Pat Carvalho, Principal and CEO of Birmingham Met College. Awards were presented in various categories, with the following winners. Lifetime Achievement Award, second runner-up, Syed Muhammad Faisal Sami, Faisan Global Relief Foundation UK. First runner-up, Marwan Bakili, Hales Owen and Dudley Yemeni Community Association. Winner, Bob Rhodes, Lives Through Friends CIC. Duty to the Community Award. Second runner-up, Davinder Kaur, Skills Work Enterprise Development Agency. First runner-up, Salma Yakub, Birmingham and Solihull Integrated Care System. Winner, Ravinder Tagar, Bringing People Together Award. Second runner-up, Anis Serich, Bosnia-Herzegovina UK Network. First runner-up, Charlie McNeil, The Active Wellbeing Society. Winner, Dawn Edwards, Erdington Litter Busters. Environment Champion Award. Second runner-up, Soho Road BID CIC. First runner-up, St Giles Pantry Coventry, St Giles Trust. Winner, Heritage Seed Guardians. Garden Organics Heritage Seed Library. Sports Award. Second runner-up, Warwickshire Cricket Foundation. First runner-up, Mohammed Abdul Hay, Bright Future Association. Winner, Sahili Hub. Volunteer Award. Second runner-up, Kenneth Thomas Hyde, Special Olympics Sandwell. First runner-up, Sabrina French, NHS. Winner, Alvina Ali and the Secret Angels Volunteers. Secret Angels. Good Neighbour Award, second runner-up, Villa Cross Soup Kitchen. First runner-up, Jill Fraser, Kissing It Better. Winner, Beatrice Emielska, Inclusive Life Projects. Public Services Award, second runner-up, A Better Tomorrow. First runner-up, Ruth Forecast, Melvin Welcomes. Winner, Caroline Fancy, Contento Social Homes. Community Reassurance Award. Second runner-up, Jess Allen, Northfield Community Partnership. First runner-up, Dr. Mohammad Arafatu Rehman, University of Wolverhampton. Winner, Inspector Hanif Ula, West Midlands Police. Health and Wellbeing Award. Second runner-up, Vision for All. First runner-up, Melody Bridges, Birmingham and Solihull ICB. Winner, Community Connections, Birmingham Community Healthcare NHS Foundation Trust. Education Services Award. Second runner-up, Zoe Bennett, Training Personified Limited. First runner-up, Nemo Hersey, SOS Education. Winner, Charlotte Mayer Butler and Haley Turner, All Stars Senior Group. Business and Enterprise Award, second runner up, Seven Stars Event Limited. First runner up, Susan Evans, Manor Farm Community Association. Winner, Thea CIA, Community Organization Award, second runner up, Hales Owen and Dudley Yemeni Community Association. First runner up, YMCA Sutton Coldfield. Winner, Nichelle's P.O.D. Shine at Nichelle's P.O.D. Following the awards, a lavish dinner was served to the distinguished guests from both near and far. An absolutely fantastic evening uh, to see so many people who are making a contribution to their locality and their community in such great spirits. Uh, people dancing towards picking up their presentations, others dressed immaculately and so proud of the awards that they've won. A fantastic event and a fantastic evening. It's been an absolutely wonderful evening and a real privilege to have an opportunity to come along um, and see the most magnificent volunteers and community leaders being recognised for the fantastic work that they do. 
It's been truly inspirational and I'm very grateful for the opportunity to join in. Good evening, my name's Simon Foster, I'm the Police and Crime Commissioner for the West Midlands. It's been an absolute pleasure attending the Community Inspiration Awards 2024. We've been celebrating and recognising people who've gone above and beyond for their local communities, who have been delivering outstanding achievements and fantastic contributions making the West Midlands and the wider region a better place to live, work and study. And it's been an absolute pleasure to be here this evening. My name is Paulette Hamilton. I'm the MP for Erdington. I'd like to say what a wonderful event this was today. It was really inspirational. We had tears, we had laughter, but more than that, we were able to recognise some of the wonderful work that goes on in the community. And what I'd like to say to each and every person who has won an award, who has become a runner-up, and also those who didn't win, but they came in the last five, absolute congratulations, well done, and do it again for us next year. Hi, my name is Mike O'Hara. I'm an Assistant Chief Constable in the West Midlands Police. I think this evening's been uh, a magnificent celebration of uh, communities coming together, organisations, groups, making a massive difference to the people of Birmingham, the West Midlands uh, and the region. So it's been a great event, very uplifting, uh, and I'm really proud to have come this evening. My name is uh, Pat Cavallo and I'm the Principal and CEO for Birmingham Metropolitan College and I've been absolutely blown over by the Community Inspiration Awards. I've been here, this is my third year, and what's so great about it is that you get to hear about all those community organisations and indeed um, you, how things like, the, you know, organisations like the NHS, the Fire Brigade, Police, how we all come together to really, really support our communities, and it's, it's absolutely wonderful. Hi, I'm Shokat Lau, Chief Executive of Sandwell Council, and I'm really pleased to be here at the Community Foundation Awards. I think awards are an excellent recognition and really important in terms of recognising the contributions that people make, often in voluntary circumstances, supporting communities in their own time without any pay or little pay. And the difference that they make on people's lives, the impact that they have, can often be absolutely staggering. So it's fantastic to be here, see so many people celebrating this particular function and getting those awards and getting that recognition. It just goes a small way to say thank you for a tremendous amount of work that they do. So my name's Lucy Caldicott and I work for the Mayor of the West Midlands at the West Midlands Combined Authority and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at this amazing event full of community inspiration, wonderful champions, heroes, everybody, whether you won or you didn't win, it's an amazing, amazing event and everyone should be very proud. Hi, I'm Richard Kirby, the Chief Executive of Birmingham Community Healthcare. It's been a real pleasure and privilege to be at the Community Inspiration Awards on behalf of the NHS to uh, celebrate and recognise the, the fantastic work that so many people and organisations do to help people right across the West Midlands um, and, and to be able to present the Health and Wellbeing Award in particular um, as a recognition of the fantastic contribution people make has just been a great privilege so thank you very much. Hi, I'm Chris Payne, I'm the Assistant Chief Executive at West Midland Fire Service. So these sorts of events are, are really really important just to recognise you know, those people that open their hearts um, to step and look after, really care, love and support those people outside their own front door, you know, that, and create those initiatives which make such, such a difference for people's lives, um, whether that's giving them opportunities um, so they can really fulfil the potential that they have. Nazmul Hussain, Chief Executive of Community Foundation. It gives me great pleasure to once again host the 12th Community Inspiration Award and we've been here to recognise the outstanding work that people from the community have been doing in all sectors, in education, in the fire service, in the health service, in community reassurance and crime prevention, in education, in sports and we've had 13 award categories and people from all walks of life, all different ethnicity, all different age, gender, 
and background have come here being selected as finalists. We have about 65 people we shortlisted from hundreds of nominations that we received this year. And the whole purpose of the Community Inspiration Award is to recognise the good work that's done out there in the community by the public, by the voluntary organisation, by the public sector service providers and by the business community. So this tonight was an awards event to recognise all of those people who are doing good work in their community for under each of those 13 categories.